Remember that when the question is asked with the underlined portion, it might be about just the underlined portion, but other times it's also about the entire passage as a whole. So we can't just shortcut these things by reading just the underline, read everything. It doesn't take very long. It's not a long passage. So let's see what we have here. Archaeological excavation of Market Street Chinatown, a 19th century Chinese American community in San Jose, California, provided the first evidence that Asian food products were imported to the United States in the 1800s. Bones from a freshwater fish species native to Southeast Asia, Asia. Uh, Jin, I'm not going to even pronounce that, Hong Kong-based import expert firms likely coordinated the fish's transport from Chinese-operated fisheries in Vietnam and Malaysia to North American markets. This route reveals the often overlooked multinational dimensions of the trade networks linking Chinese diaspora communities. So if, if I had to guess kind of like what it was doing, it's kind of some sort of like example or something like that. I'm not going to think too deeply about it, though. Let's let the choices do the thinking for us. There's only four options. One of them's got to be right. So choice A, it explains why efforts to determine the country of origin of the items mentioned in the previous sentence remain inconclusive. Well, that definitely seems negative. You know, I don't I, I don't know that I see any sort of negativity here. Now, inconclusive means also that we cannot make a conclusion. And it seems like it's an example, right? It seems like we have a way to get the origin of these things because we know they're from Vietnam and Malaysia. So this just seemed contradictory. Um, we Another thing we can do to help with these choices is, especially when they include a word like why, turn the choice into a question. And if you can't answer the question, that's not a good sign. So why were efforts to determine the country of origin inconclusive? I, I don't know. They, I guess... See, I don't even know even know how to answer that. There's nothing here. So that's a good that's a good sign that it's wrong, right? Don't try to force it. If there's no evidence that it's right, it's it's wrong. So let's look at B. It provides information that helps support a claim about a discovery's significance that is presented in the following sentence. Notice how vague that answer is, right? It, it doesn't mention anything about what's going on in the passage at all. Now, some of you are going to be turned off by that choice because you're like, well, it's not saying anything about the fish or whatever. That doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Let's look at the different pieces here and see if there's anything that, that we can prove wrong. Otherwise, vague answers are often right in the SAT. So it provides information, obviously it does that, check, that helps support a claim about a discovery's significance that is presented in the following sentence. So this, this, the set following sentence here, the route reveals the often overlooked multinational dimensions of the trade networks linking Chinese diaspora communities. So the discovery is significant because it reveals the multinational dimensions of something. So I, I can kind of answer that question there. Does it help support that claim? Well, it's saying that you've got people from Hong Kong, uh, China, Vietnam, Malaysia. So I guess it's showing us an example or evidence that it is multinational. I feel like I'm stretching it a little bit, but at the same time, it's it's the, the words in the choice are so vague that it's easy to make things fit. And again, that might seem like a red flag, but I haven't proven anything wrong. It seems like I'm checking off all these parts. Let's look at C. Let's see if it's any better. It traces the steps, that already bothers me, that were taken to locate and recover the objects that are described in the previous sentence. So the objects are, I guess, the bones. So what were the steps that they took to locate them? They, these are not steps that they found, they used to find them. Maybe these are the, 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 a kind of step that they used to get there in the first place is they went through this uh, fishery or these transport firms. Um, but I don't have any steps that I can see that they're using to recover these things, right? They dug them up, I guess, in uh, Market Street, Chinatown, but I don't have any steps about like how they excavated or where they dug or anything like that. So this just seems wrong. D, it outlines a hypothesis that additional evidence discussed in the following sentence casts some doubt on. Again, just dumb summary. That seems pretty negative. This doesn't seem like a negative thing. This just seems like a kind of neutral example. Like it doesn't have any sort of connotation as far as I can tell. So that seems weird. So honestly, at that point, I would pick B. If I wanted to pick, uh, prove D a little bit more wrong, it's not a hypothesis. They're not like we wonder if maybe these things came through these firms. It just seems like that's just true. It's just a fact. Uh, so it's not a hypothesis. Um, and again, it, there's nothing being – they're not – this is an example that then kind of the next sentence follows from that example and, and it, they relate to each other. They're not kind of opposites. There's no contrast here. So casting doubt, yeah, doesn't make sense. So I really like these questions because they force us, even when they're easy, to try to think about the reasons we're eliminating things. So if you're just going through these choices and picking the thing that just feels most right, great. You're probably getting something like this right. The College Board considers this a medium level question. 
But remember, we're, I'm doing this more elaborate uh, elimination process because you want to strengthen that skill for when they really get hard because that's when we need to notice these little subtle things in the choices, especially when it's an answer like B that ends up being right, where there isn't something very clear that connects with what's going on in the passage. It's much more that they've barely said anything at all, and the choice is right because there's nothing we can prove wrong. That sometimes happens.